Hey, so I'm going to go over a problem. It's in 4.3, and it for one of the students, it was number seven. It could be a different one for you. It was to make a tree diagram, if you have three questions with five answers, and you want to know the probability that you get for the three questions, you get the right answer for each question. Yours may be a little different. It may be like you have four questions and five answers something like that but i'm going to show you what's going on okay so i drew this by hand it's not great i know that but if i did it in word it looked even worse so okay again so remember i have three questions with five answers each and i want to know when i get all the answers correct and each i have a equally the same outcome Sorry, they're equally likely to occur. That's how I want to say it. They're equally likely to occur. All right, so question one. Remember, I have five answers, so it could be A, B, C, D, or E. I went ahead and drew out the tree for A because it's a little bit confusing, and I'll show you why I did it. I'm going to say that A is my correct answer. That makes my life so much easier. So I'm going to say, okay. So for all three questions, A was the correct answer. So this A right here is my first one. And then this A, B, C, D, and E right here is the second question. And then off of there, I've got the other little tree diagrams for the third question. So I got it correct on question one, correct on question two, and correct on question three. That's what you see right here. So again, Here's the first question, here's the second question, and here's the third question. Okay, you see how much work it is. So I, sh I could have done this four more times and it would have been insane. But what I thought, I, I kind of made it easier on myself. I just said A was the correct answer. So then I see here, A, A, A. So there's the one time that I get them all correct. Because B isn't correct, that's not correct, that's not correct, and that's not correct. I just, this is the one time I could get it all correct. A, 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 and I've got that down here. All right, so I'm not concerned about, remember B, C, D, or E because it doesn't have the correct answers. I just need the number of outcomes. So if I count the branches on the third question, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Okay. So for this one right here is twenty five. If I drew this as B, I'd have twenty five, C would have twenty five, D would have twenty five, and E would have twenty five. So if I add out all my outcomes, 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 equals 125. And the one time I have all the questions correct is right here. It's A, A, A. So that's one. So the probability for me to get all the correct answers is 1 over 125, which is 0 .008. I hope this helps.